And all new at five, the president of Edward Waters University saying today he believes EWU was the original target of the shooter. And he's calling the security guard who first encountered the, sh the shooter on campus a hero for preventing violence towards students. Our Atia Collins attended a news conference today. She was on campus speaking with students and that security guard. I never thought it would play out the way that it did and that it would actually happen. Janias McNeil was at basketball practice when he says the team was put on lockdown. Like my head was like, okay, I'm inside, so I think I'm good. And but at the same time, like this man can really just like do anything. He could have killed. He could have killed us first if he before he went to Dollar General. Moments before McNeil arrived to practice, security personnel Lieutenant Antonio Bailey was flagged down by students for a suspicious person wearing gloves and a tactical vest in a parking lot behind the library. That person was Ryan Palmeter. Lieutenant Bailey says he approached Palmeter's car on foot before Palmeter sped off. For you to see me approaching and for you to leave that fast, something's not right. Lieutenant Bailey says he drove after Paul Meter getting the license plate information before Paul Meter left campus. That's when Bailey flagged down a JSO officer at the police substation on campus. According to JSO, within two minutes of Paul Meter leaving EWU, he had arrived at the Dollar General down the street and shot his first victim. University President Dr. Zachary Faison believes EWU was the shooter's original target, and he calls Lieutenant Bailey a hero for responding so quickly. Quick, but Bailey gives all the credit to the students. I'm no hero. This is a daily, just daily activity that we do on a daily basis to protect our students.